GPS. It's not like you need to be reading the street yeah. lights and stuff. Right. Okay, it's on there. It's on? It's all doubled. All right, well. Say your stories. All right. <laughs> oh, watch out for all the cords. Yeah, I don't know why you did this. Should I play against the other at wall? Yeah. Well, I didn't know. Sorry, guys. It's like an hour later. Let's just see if there's something here missing. I'm, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to post it up on the thing, guys. Community. I've ever had. But I it's also like you. her stepdad and her fiance, so they're totally like partial. They they're, have to lie maybe, to you. Maybe they're, they're biased. Like, the weird thing about this soup is that the main ingredients are shrimp and cottage cheese. So I feel like that's right. disgusting. And so we can talk about the ingredients that we have right now. So we are gonna start, we have a quarter cup of cannabis oil that we are going to pour into our pot, which is on medium high heat or high heat? I put it on high. Okay, high heat. Here we go. You're officially live. Uh, haven't we been officially live? No, I had to restart. Oh, that's now right. are we officially live? Should I restart so we ourselves? Talk about the ingredients that we have right now. So we are gonna Okay, start. well we're going. We Hi guys. Hi. We've been having technical difficulties, but thank you so much if you're tuned in. Um, I see CBC Voter is here. He says, you're doing a great show. Keep on doing it. Cannabis recipes. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Everyone says such nice things. Okay. Well, back to what we were making. We were making a soup called Choopy. Choopy. That my friend Sarah got from her old babysitter when she was a child. <laughs> yes. And it stuck with me ever since. Yeah. I messaged one of the old kids that was like ba being babysat with me and she, it was her grandmother actually. So she the, gave her me grandmother the, was the babysitter? Her grandmother was the babysitter. Okay. Yeah. So this is the recipe. It sounds yeah. gross, but <laughs> everyone in my life thinks it's, it's great. Okay. Well, we already have gross. our cannabis oil heating in a pot over high heat. And our other ingredients are we have some diced onions, celery. Potatoes. Here's the shrimp. And this is just frozen shrimp mm -hmm. that I got at the grocery store. Tomato puree. And, and to top it off, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. <laughs> Which when Sarah told me this, these were the ingredients, I was... It's a very skeptical sounding recipe. Yeah. I, I acknowledge that. I'm so curious to see what you think. Uh -huh. Also for the spices in the recipe, we have parsley, Salt and pepper and Italian seasoning. And Italian seasoning. Yeah. So now that our oil is heated, what are we gonna put in? Um, we're gonna put the onion in first. Okay. So that's a whole yellow onion that we just put in. Mm -hmm. Like medium sized yellow onion, diced too, not super super fine. Yeah, not tiny. Yeah. Um, it's not the hottest yet. Yeah. This is my little hot plate. It takes a second, but Mine it works does really too. well. You have a hot plate too. I do because I don't have a kitchen. You don't have a kitchen? No. How do you not have a kitchen? How do you cook things? I post make things. Okay. And you have a hot plate. And I have a hot plate. What about the new place you're moving? It what has a whole you? kitchen. I'm okay. going to be cooking this all the time. Okay. Good. I actually, I'm going to put the celery in at the same time as the onion. Love it. Um, go cook. And that is just about how many stalks of celery? Okay, so that's five stalks of celery. Mm -hmm. Diced to yep. about the same size as the onion. Yes. So. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna cook this up until what the onions and celery are softened. Yeah, translucent. Translucent. Mm -hmm. Which um, you know. All right. Well, I know Sarah because not so many years ago we actually did a commercial together. Yes, we did. Um, we were in a Samsung commercial for the Galaxy Note 10. Four. No way. <laughs> Galaxy Note 4? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it was 4. OK, 
Okay, one of the Galaxy Notes, we were in a commercial for. Yeah. And we were a bunch of high schoolers going to a prom or mm -hmm. a homecoming dance. Yeah. And the big thing about the phone was that we could fit all 10 or 12 of us in a selfie at yes. once. Yes. Which, Which you can't do with an iPhone. You cannot. And also, if you remember in the commercial, I stole your date. Because we were improv and I didn't know that you and RJ were like the dates. Right. Um, I didn't have a date. Well, you stole, stole yours. yours. <laughs> but that was a few years ago. That was a couple months ago. That was we a just couple met. months ago. Yeah. And Sarah and I have remained friends ever since. Yeah. Which is nice because I feel like in Los Angeles, it's hard to like make friends, especially when you're together for such a short period of time. Right. I don't know exactly what we bonded over. I know what we bonded over. Oh, we're not, we bonded over the fact that we were older than the other That's two. That's what we bonded over. <laughs> I didn't want to say that on camera, but we bonded <laughs> over the fact that we were older than the other kids. High schoolers. Kids in the, in the commercial. <laughs> yes. But we still, we still play under play, 18 on TV. We still play high school sometimes. Can so, you see it? You know? Can you see <laughs> I actually did just film something that um, I'm supposed to be a teenager. Yeah. And I'm, Wait, which thing? I'm not supposed to say, even okay. though it is technically, I posted a picture on my Instagram, which is a repost that the writer posted, and it says what we're filming. But okay. they told me that I wasn't allowed to say what it was. But the writer can. Right? So if he did it, then it's fine. Um, these are sizzling up. It smells really good. Yeah, I don't really go out for college what? yet. Yeah. It's hard because I feel like I have this like alternate universe where I don't That's really know what age I am. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when I'm around people that are actually in high school and I'm supposed to be their same age, I'm like, I, I don't know how to relate to you. It's But yeah. I don't feel my age. And... My age is on the internet. If you guys really want to know what my age is, you can Google me, and um, I don't know how to get it taken off the internet. <laughs> so, Wait, that kind of sucks. Yeah, doesn't it? It's on my IMDb, and I contacted them about it, but they said that as long as it's true, <gasps> then I can't get it taken off. But it's like, it's my personal information. I feel like IMDb. I should have control over it. IMDb is not nice. <laughs> They do these things to people all the time. Can I tell really? you? All right, I have a funny story. I have a friend that did a, a small part in a show. She lives in New York. Okay. So she did a small part in a TV show. And um, Ooh, I'm going to stop right there. Hi, Alan Higgins. Alan Higgins Hi, Alan. Is, is tuned in. He says, my lady, XX. Ladies, Alan. Ladies. I'm here, too. This is my friend Sarah. She's your <laughs> second lady now. Okay. Yes. Continue your story. So my story about IMDb is that my friend uh, had a part in a TV show. I forget what the TV show was. Okay. Um, it's a big one. She, it was a great part. And her character name was Young Woman. Okay. So she um, finds it on IMDb, realizes that the episode didn't include her. So she, um, like, in the listing on IMDb. And for actors, we, like, want the credit to yeah. be listed. Um, so she goes and she tries to add herself. And IMDb doesn't put it in as Young Woman. They put it in as young man. Oh no! So on her TV, it says young man. And then she, she couldn't correct it. She couldn't correct it. Oh no! She couldn't correct it. And then for some reason, and I think that the, the reason IMDb did this is because when the episode aired, in the credits, and her sister sent her a video, in the credits, it says, I'm not even going to say her name, but it says my friend's name, young man. In the so credits, the TV show got it wrong. The TV show got it wrong. IMDb was right. No, well, yeah, they were That's right based on the right. TV show, but they were both That's wrong. That's hilarious and really sad at the same time. I know, I know. Oh so now gosh. I feel like she makes jokes about herself being a young man. Aww. Okay, well, for, for those of you guys who are tuning in, like Alan Higgins, this is my friend Sarah, and she is showing me how to make her favorite soup recipe called Choopy. Choopy. We don't know how to spell this. If anyone's heard of this um, and knows how to spell it, please let us know so we can look it up. And we already have our cannabis oil in our pot and we are cooking our diced onion and celery. Yes. Yeah, so the onion and the celery are not cut super huge. Actually, there's a piece here on the spoon. You can it's like half an inch. Yeah. A little half an inch square. Yeah. Not too small. Yeah. Um, and guys, also, I'm sorry about the, um, 
the weird double screen thing that was happening with our live stream. We couldn't get it figured out, and that's why we were so late getting up here, but here we are. And we look compressed. We look short and squat. We are compressed humans today. I promise we're super tall. <laughs> How tall are you? Like five, five and a half. Oh, that's a good, that's like a, taller than average. I think five, I four like, is average. Is it? I think so. Oh, I feel, I feel short. Do you? Not next to you, but usually. Well, thanks. I'm by one, and it's funny that I'm so used to being with people that are taller than me that I look at you, and I'm like, you're not that much taller than me. Right. No, I'm, I'm not actually not that much taller than you. I don't know. Wait, stand up straight. We're going to look in the thing. Oh, it's kind of delayed. It is delayed. But yeah, I am definitely shorter I mean, we can do like a back to back. We can do a back to back. Now I can't see you, oh. so I can't really be the judge. Oh, I don't know. Well, in like 10 seconds, then we can see it on the feed. All right, how is our onions and celery doing? It smells so Your good. Your smells so good. Mm. Now, when do we add seasonings? Um, I was actually just thinking that. We can so add, this like, whole recipe is kind of like an eyeball recipe. Oh, here, look. Um, <laughs> oh, we were back to back on our delayed screen. Um, Sarah's just making this up. I just, every time I do this, Lauren's going to post about it after. I know, so I'm going to write up the recipe and I'm going to put it on my website and then you guys can follow along. Okay, so I'm going to add the spices now because I just feel like it's nice to kind of burn your, or not burn, uh, brown your onion and celery. With I was, there's this TV show uh, on Netflix called The Chef Show, which I love, and it has, um, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember the actor's name. John Favreau. It has John Favreau and his, he, they, it's a cooking show and one of the things that they talk about is that you season it every step. That's what professional oh. chefs do. And I did that intuitively. You did that intuitively. Hey. And also I've learned that professional chefs use a whole lot more salt than average people do. Like I just use a, like a lot handfuls, more Italian? Handfuls of salt. I'm not a professional chef. As you can see. Oh no, I'm Derek doing. Jones says, ha ha ha, the audio is so off. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry that we're having so much trouble with our with our live stream. I don't know. Um, but thank you, Can Can Juana Grows 420 says, great channel, ladies. Uh, you wouldn't know it from the technical difficulties that we've been having, but thank you. Ooh, uh, this smells good. It does really smell good. Yeah, once you put that Italian seasoning in there. Yeah, my fiance's Italian, so I'm partial to that. So what we have here is we're making a soup called Chupi. We have our cannabis oil in the pot, and we've been cooking our celery and onions until it's translucent, and we've also added our spices, mm -hmm. which is salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and parsley. Parsley, parsley, parsley gonna... flakes. Dry parsley, not fresh. You could put fresh. This mm -hmm. is, I mean, I was just saying this is like an eyeball recipe that I do. Mm -hmm. um, Lauren's gonna, you're gonna type everything over the screen. How do you do it? I'm gonna, on my website, I post the recipes. Okay. So I'm gonna type it all up and then post Great. it on my website. Cool. And I'm also probably going to edit this video into a shorter Just the Instructional videos and po post that separately, like I did last week. I kind of want, I want more oil. You want more oil? I do. Okay, I'll get you more oil. How much more oil? Do you just want regular oil? Regular is fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I want a little more. You can tell them that we used a quarter cup of cannabis oil. Yes, okay, so we used a quarter cup of cannabis oil for um, to start everything to make the onions and the celery translucent. And so we're adding more oil. This could all be cannabis oil if you wanted to, but just for time's sake, I went and yeah. grabbed some this giant bottle of Costco-sized extra virgin olive oil. Costco is where it's at. So add however much you okay. think is appropriate. Yeah, it's like all over my hands now. Is it? I think it's all over the bottle. I mean, olive oil is good for your skin, isn't it? Um, I think it's relatively low comedogenic. Yeah. When you put it on, it well, I'm not putting it on my face. I'm one of those people that like moisturizes with oil. Where's the? There um, are oils that are good for moisturizing with. What do you? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. So here we have a can of tomato, 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 tomato puree, mm -hmm. and we are adding one cup of it into our. We're actually gonna add two cups, but this no. is just a one cup thing. Um, also, we need six cups of water. And we need six cups of water. I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to fill up because my measuring cup is only four cups. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. 
So yeah, you just keep these going. They're looking good. It smells so good. I know this sounds like the weirdest recipe. It's got shrimp and cottage cheese, but trust me. Lauren swears that the reason everybody tells me this is the best recipe is because they love me so much. Yeah. Because it's my stepdad and my fiance. Okay, here it is. Mm. Here it comes. That's four? This is four. Cool. I don't want to spell. Okay. There's four cups. In the pocket shoot? No. Just not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, CBC Voter says, when I'm stoned, the audio synchronized with video is awesome. <laughs> I know. We've been having so many technical difficulties. We have a double screen. The audio is off. But I didn't want to wait any longer, so we just decided to run with it and go live. Uh, so thanks for bearing with us. Sorry, guys. I know. Sorry, guys. But I will, we are recording this, so I will cut this into a shorter video of just the instructions and post that later on my channel. Can we talk about the surprise scallion in here? That's celery. That is not celery. I don't know what that is. It looks like a scallion. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody tell me what this is. It's, <laughs> she's being crazy. Derek, what is this? Is this a scallion? No, it's, it's celery. A, Maybe it's the inside part of the onion. It inside. must be the inside part. wise but this is smelling so good mm -hmm. we have once again to recap do I have any new viewers and we're making choopy we have tomatoes no not tomatoes we have celery and onions cooking they're caramelizing in the pot <laughs> with some CBD CBD olive oil no just regular cannabis infused olive oil. cannabis infused I don't know anything about this no. I'm just here for the fun she's just here for um, the fun. this the is my friend Sarah you guys Hi. we are Acting we've known friends, each other. Yeah, I guess. we've known each other for about three weeks now. No, shut up. <laughs> More like three years. I think four years actually. Didn't I send you that memory? It's been five years. It's been five years. We've known each other for five years. Ew, get out. Oh. Um, but yeah, we remain How friends. Has it been even though five years. I don't know. Time goes by so fast. I still think that it's like 2014 in my head. So that's five years ago. <laughs> There you go. We just met. We just met. <laughs> we just met. Um, yeah, so we have our celery and onion caramelizing in the pot this, with some cannabis infused olive oil, parsley seasoning, Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. Next, I'm going to add two puree, six cups of water, and once that starts to boil, I'll add the potatoes. Okay. Well, also, Gara Hidayat, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But he says he's been waiting, and it's 2 a.m., 20 a.m. I mean, 4:20 a.m. right on time. Thanks for tuning That's in. Like, yes, yes. Uh, you were watching us last week too. Nice, nice. So thanks for coming back. Wait, I'm gonna grab my. Oh, wait. What can I do? Okay. Mm. straw this little floppy straw this is the best thing amazon it's like silicone. a silicone straw mm -hmm. i have a metal straw that i've never used i got in trouble in acting class because my metal straw was clinking against my metal yeti oh, container yeah, that's and my annoying. acting teacher shot me the most bullish glare that is annoying it was bad it's during yeah. someone's scene i was like oh my god sorry i'm trying to read it how did you get into acting how did you start acting I started as a dance. I was a ballerina. Mm. And I actually, uh, when I moved to LA, I kept dancing for uh, maybe two years. But I noticed, because um, I dabbled a little bit, my, my dance agent would send me out commercially. And I would notice that I was treated better when I would book a commercial as a dancer actor than I was being treated when I was just Definitely. on set as a dancer. Um, so I kind of did my own little personal strike against the dance community because I, I dancers work so hard mm -hmm. and I think they deserve to be paid much more than what they are being paid so I stepped out good for you yeah I actually have seen this firsthand um, I used to have a musical theater dance agent 
You did? I did. And that was the first thing I ever booked was through through my dance agency. What? Um, yeah. It's Wait. so funny. The first thing I ever booked, you guys, was a Disney pilot that um, they actually remade years later into a Disney Channel original movie, but they recast the whole thing, so I didn't get to be a part of it. But I that sucks. went to, it was an open call looking for cheerleaders and dancers. So you I went, cheered. I did cheer. I have been a cheerleader for a very, very long, long time. She's so cute. <laughs> but this, um, it was an open call, which means that anyone can come, basically. So there was probably like 200 people there. Wow. There was a lot of people there. We were there super, super early in the morning, and they taught us a dance routine um, that I learned, and then they saw us in groups, and I got cut from that round. Because I'm not... I'm not a dancer. Like I am an actor who sings and can move. If that's what you I sing, do. I sing. Yeah. This is why you both need to get. Um, I mean, I actually started doing as a singer. Uh, I started doing musical theater when I was a kid, and this is kind of how I got into yeah. acting. Uh -huh. But that day, they were also looking for real cheerleaders, and there was a separate call later that day where they had people come and stunt, and then they also taught us part of the dance. And luckily enough, I had been at the dance call in the morning, so I already knew the dance. So they probably were like, this girl's picking it up so fast. You cheater. I know. <laughs> um, and I could also do the stunts. They specifically wanted a girl who could do a back tuck basket. You can do a back tuck. Uh, not Wait, anymore. A, what's a back tuck basket? A basket toss is when people toss you up in the air. Oh. And so I would be tossed up in the air and do a backflip in the air, and then they would catch me. Oh, my God. And that was... A stunt that I could do and there were only I think there was one maybe one other girl there maybe two other girls there that could do that same stunt uh, and because I already knew the dance routine I probably looked like a great dancer <laughs> um, and I got the part hey yeah so I was one of the um, there were three girls that were three I don't know what this was um, <laughs> three not a real number. There were three girls that got cast from that dance cheerleading call as like named speaking characters in this show. And then there were also dancers that were cast as dancer dancers. Um, and so what pilot did they remake? Well, this pilot was called Zombies and Cheerleaders. And so there's a Disney Channel original movie called Zombies that is the, the remake of it. Sounds like an excellent Have you guys effort. seen it? I mean, the pilot was amazing and I loved it. It was my favorite thing that I've ever done because it was a combination of singing and dancing and cheerleading and I had so much fun on that set. Anyway. That does sound, I mean. <gasps> Gara, yeah. thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Gara says, love all your recipes. I've tried it all. Which is so cool that really? you've been making all of my recipes. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, that's awesome. I try to make a variety of recipes. I'm actually kind of happy that Sarah wanted to make this soup recipe because I have a huge... Weird. It sounds really weird. Well, I have a huge sweet tooth, so <laughs> I always tend to make desserts on my channel because that's just what I want to make and I want to eat. So, and when then I, I'm just a weird person that for some reason I don't have a sweet tooth at all, I'm always going to choose the potato chip over the donut. Wow. Okay, so we just added two cups of our tomato puree and four cups of water. But we need mm -hmm. six cups, so I'm gonna be right back and get two more cups. Cool, thank you. So we are just gonna wait for this to boil. Should I angle the camera and just put it over top of this liquid, waiting for it to boil? That'll be the most entertaining part of this video so far. I was joking about waiting for the water to boil. Oh. Here we go, adding two more cups of water. Cool. And we so, can show the pot if you want to show the pot. Is that what you were joking about? I was joking about so it because it's no fun to watch on. any water boil, but we might as well show. But I think it will be good to show the color so that they they know um, the consistency. I'm like all connected to all of these things. So just to angle it towards you guys. So all we have in here right now is water, six cups, tomato puree, two cups. A tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a tablespoon of parsley, a teaspoon of salt, a couple grinds of the black pepper grinder. We have five stalks of celery and one yellow onion. So we can put a lid on 
realize we want to how do it have it boil faster. Okay, let me get a whip. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, but in general, this does not take very long to cook. I mean, <coughs> our main ingredients here are the shrimp and cottage cheese. Shrimp don't take long at all to boil. Potatoes are going to go in next because they take a little bit longer to boil than the shrimp. So usually these take maybe like 10 minutes. Okay. And then you put the shrimp in. Those are probably three minutes. Mm -hmm. So And then the, the cottage cheese is something that you put on top. So once it starts to boil, I'd say oh, we weird. have like 13 minutes. I know it sounds so weird. It sounds really weird. I can't wait. If you don't like this soup, I swear to God, you're going to be the only one. Oh my gosh. Even my mom likes it. I'll probably like it because I'm starving. We didn't eat lunch because we were going to make the soup, but then obviously we started yeah. late because we were having technical difficulties. So yeah. Here we are. So I'm very, very hungry and I'll probably like anything. Yeah. I'm not a super picky eater. I I'm not like a picky eat eater. I a mm -hmm. lot of things. No. I'm, um, I mean, I'm mostly vegan, but even mm -hmm. still, as far as taste goes, the only thing that I can't do is spice. Only Ooh, because I it hate spicy food. It, I mean, it's just painful to me. Yeah. So, and I, I think that if it wasn't painful, I would enjoy the taste of jalapenos. Mm, I don't really like. That. I think I've had pickled pickled jalapenos that didn't hurt my mouth. Yeah. But they still had the taste. Jalapenos, of jalapenos. aren't even that spicy compared to other spicy. No, foods. they're like the most mild. Even anything else, like I, 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 it's it's so. I've even had my ears, like a cartoon when when the smoke comes out of your ears. I have felt that. You can't see the smoke, but I feel like I can feel the smoke coming out of my ears. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah, I do not like spicy foods. Mm -hmm. I feel like it takes away from the flavor of what you're eating. Well, uh, you know what's but funny? people feel the opposite. People like feel spicy. the opposite. Yeah, yeah they feel like the, without the spice, it doesn't quite taste like food yet. What? And I'm like, but I feel like with spice, it's just like all the like taste assaulting, is spice. It's assaulting my mouth. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I'm I glad we're in you. agreement. Yeah. No spice goes in here, but if you want, there's probably, pepper in it, black pepper. Yeah, yeah, that's more like a. Do you feel like that's spicy? It's not really it? spicy. No. Now. Um, I love black pepper. Really? I'm a psycho about about black pepper. What do you mean? Like I put way too much of it in most of my things. Oh, interesting. I know. I won't over pepper okay. the chupi. <laughs> the chupi. Yeah, guys. Uh, I mean, we still have seven viewers, which is cool. Seven people are watching us on the internet right Hi, now. Hi, all seven of you. I think you? that it's been the same seven this whole time, but if you... That's a good sign. That means that we're, just, we're, like, really entertaining. <laughs> are we? Yeah. If you're just tuning in, are anyway, we? we're making a soup called Choopy, and we had our pot with cannabis oil, and we cooked our celery and onions, and then we added our spices, which is salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and parsley. Mm -hmm. And then, and then once everything starts to boil, we have but we have eight cups of liquid in here right now. We have mm -hmm. six cups of water, and we have two cups of tomato puree. So once everything starts to boil, we're gonna add the potatoes. Is that now? No, okay. not yet. And then um, after those are pretty soft, which just takes about ten minutes, depending on the size. So every time you boil potatoes, you just want to Google maybe like how long it takes to boil. Uh, to softness, the certain size. Otherwise, you can just fork it and find out. Which means um, you can puncture it with a fork, and if it's yes. soft, then yes, you know, fork it. Yeah. So these will probably take about ten minutes. I mean, I'm gonna. What you think, ten? Yeah. Yeah. And then the shrimp will take maybe three. Yeah, shrimp cooks very super quickly. fast. You don't want to overcook shrimp because then it right. gets tough and gross. Yeah. Um, and then it's done. And then once you uh, once you get yourself, was that your foot? Yeah. Your slipper felt like your dog. Yeah. Can I put my foot in your slipper again? Thank you. I feel like I'm... You're so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, and then after, you just put a little dollop of cottage cheese on top of the bowl. Which is so weird. It's so weird. But you know what? There's a lot of soups that you would put sour cream on top. So I, I guess this is kind of similar. That... Thank you. Yeah. I feel vindicated here. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. I'm so down to try this too. It's a really good, in my opinion... Soup. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to hang out with me and, Thank you and for make me, me lunch. Yep. You're welcome. Dinner. Liner. 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 Lunch. Liner. Dinner. Liner. Liner or liner. What do you can you guys comment on what you think is the most appropriate lunch dinner? Right. Like, not a brunch. Because like yeah. the, si the the other one. Between lunch and dinner. Because right now in Los Angeles it is three thirty, so the meal so in between. Yeah. Would be so it's either liner or lunner. Liner sounds better. It does. I don't like lunner. I don't like the word. 
So the you makes me feel weird. Okay. So then we're just deciding. We're gonna do. Yeah. Don't comment anymore. Don't com- Nobody <laughs> commented. Stop. <It's> fine. No. <laughs> the seven people that are pretend watching are not commenting. Stop pretend watch, you guys. Okay. Watch us boil water. This I is think, very entertaining. I know. Where I think we're entertaining. And you're entertaining me. Thank you. Well, Sarah is my acting friend. I feel like we've already gone over this, but yeah, yeah. we've been friends for a few years. Couple and uh, Sarah was actually just at my recent birthday party. Yes. We went to a rage room. Yes. Which is... We threw plates at walls. <laughs> it's a room where they give you a whole bunch of stuff and you break it. That's it was basically. so cool. It was so... God, I wish I was mad that day. I wish that I was like a very rageful person because I feel like it would have been... Oh, Gara says that he's watching. Hi. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was so Gara. fun. Gara, you should go to a rage room and throw plates at walls. Yeah, there's only one that I know of in Los Angeles. It's in downtown mm-hmm. LA. It's called Rage Ground. Yeah, people are calling because there's like a there's like a four minute delay. Oh. oh. There's okay. a four minute delay. We there's a delay. Learned. I know. I once again, thanks for bearing with us with our technical difficulties. We have like a weird double screen going on. The audio is off. There is I don't know. So is your camera recording this separately? Yeah, the camera so is recording this separately. So okay. afterwards, I can edit that together and then post that separately. Okay. Because I'm going to make a shortened instructional video of just the soup that we've made. It's um, almost boiling. I'm yeah. So but so I, so um, this is a new thing, these live streams. Our first one was last week, and my friend Anisha came, and she showed me how to make chai. And uh, wow. I thought that it was really fun. Like, how I do you like chai. Uh, well, if you want to go check out my last week's video, uh, you basically boil a bunch of spices. It's got cloves, oh, it's wow. got cardamom, it's got cinnamon, um, ginger, and then you add some black tea bags and brew those in there or steep wow. those in there, and it's so tasty. Add some milk and honey. It was oh, really that good. That sounds so good. Yeah. Yum. But I really like having my friends here um, because I think that I just hit Sarah. Excuse me. Me, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Um, I, I, um, I really like having my friends here because I feel like enjoying food is, it's a social experiment. It's a, yeah. Experiment? It's a, it's a Experience. Social experience. Thank you. Right. Like, sharing food with somebody is what it's all about, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. and so this has been fun too because I have my friends coming on the channel and showing me how to make something that they've always liked making. Like this cottage cheese shrimp soup. Like this cottage cheese shrimp soup. <laughs> Um, CBC Voter says, I just fix it later, you're a pro. Oh, thank you. I'm not a pro at all. You're so sweet. This is my second live stream, um, but I have been doing my Life Above the Clouds videos for over a year, which does that make me a pro? So Life Above the the Clouds, how did you come up with that YouTube name? Um, Life Above the Clouds is actually the name of my blog. I used to have a cooking and baking blog many, many years ago. Okay. Um, and it was called Life Above the Clouds, which came as a suggestion from my friend and roommate at the time, Milton. You met him at my yes. birthday party. We, where we lived, it was foggy a lot, and I made some complaint about how we were in the fog, and, and he actually said, we don't... What did he say? We don't live in the clouds. We live above them. Where was this? When I lived in Pacific Palisades. In the Pal- oh, wait. So that's where life above the clouds I came thought from. you lived there by yourself. No, I had... You were with Milton? Life. Yeah, Milton came. Milton is my friend from USC. We went to college together. And so right after we graduated, he came and lived with me for some time. I didn't know that. But um, Money Lou 2 says, so nice. I'm You're really so too. nice. Hi. <laughs> um, I never came to visit you in Pacific Palisades. Were we friends then? We were, because I remember one time you came to visit. The last, when you did a video with me at my old place in Laurel Canyon, mm-hmm. it was, I remember specifically that it was going to take you an hour to get home. Oh, yeah. That's because, right. So, Sarah has actually been in some of my other videos. You guys can find them on my channel. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Sarah, that was actually with your, your ex, too. We don't need to talk about that on no. the internet. So, Garrett asks, is it cooked yet? Not I know. yet. We wish. We are starving. I, I can't know. wait to eat. cost you with this taste. I'm 
sure it'll be great. <laughs> Honestly, it's going to be good. Yeah. According to everyone else. According to everyone else. Ooh. And now you're about to move. To I'm place. moving. I'm so excited. I'm moving. Um, my fiance is going to be here soon, so we're going to be living together. Because he lives in? He lives in Florida. Mm -hmm. He's Italian. He works at the Epcot Pavilion in Italian. In Italian. And they've been dating long distance for their entire relationship. <laughs> yes, but we actually met 10 years ago. 10 years ago. When you were 11? When I was 11. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I met him when I was 11. How cute is that guy? Right. It's like a little like prince and princess relationship that we have. No, what's funny, not that any of you care, but when I met him when I was 10 years ago, <laughs> He um, was so nice to me, and I was only into assholes. Am I allowed to say assholes on this channel? Sure. Thank you. People say that on television. Yeah. I wanted a controlling guy. I wanted somebody to be fighting with me at all times. And he didn't give me that. Mm. So to me, it was just like a little casual thing. He always had a little soft place uh. in my heart. But he was too nice to me, so we said farewell. How, how long did that little... That was about four months. Oh, a four-month little thing. It was like a four-month little thing where I was treated like a princess but didn't like it. Oh. You know? And how did you guys reunite? He flew to L.A. And uh, my ex had forced me to delete him off of Facebook, so we lost contact for a couple of years. And after I broke up with my ex, I thought, you know, that was not somebody that I wanted to force out of my life. So... I friended him, uh, not thinking I would ever see him again, but just wanted to see that he was happy, and um, he was very thrilled that I friended him. Um, and so about a year later, he messaged me, and he was like, hey, I'm going to be in L.A. in January. If you're going to be there, uh, we could like, you know, go to have wine or something. And I was like, yeah, I live here. I'll be here. And um, so through our wine drinking, I find out that he didn't just come to LA to like casually travel, he actually came to see me. Oh! Lo and, lo and behold, he fell in love with me 10 years ago and I thought it was just casual because he was too nice. That's really sweet. I'm the luckiest. <laughs> I know. Um, Gara also says, by the way, I cook along with you two guys for breakfast. Well, good morning and thanks for cooking with us. Um, our soup is boiling. Is my hot plate working? Your hot plate sucks. My poor hot plate. All hot plates suck. This is not Lauren's fault. Yeah, last week actually we filmed in the kitchen, but I didn't really, it was like cramped and I didn't really like it, so we're filming in the living room a little tip. with a hot plate. Yeah. A little tip for boiling that you probably already know. Um, if you add some salt, it should boil faster. That's not true. <laughs> It's not? No, it'll make it boil slower. Stop. Because it actually raises the boiling temperature. And so that's why when you're cooking pasta, for instance, you add the salt after the water starts boiling. So it raises oh. the boiling temperature, which means that your pasta will cook uh, faster. No. Um, but it, if you add it before the water is boiling, it'll take longer to boil. Oh my God, I ruined our food. Um, but Vegan Snacks says, go vegan, love you all, earth is flat, wish you all the best, kisses, mwah, mwah, mwah. Earth is so flat. Um, um, well, Sarah actually is semi-vegan. I'm, I'm mostly vegan. Mostly vegan. Um, I'm doing this recipe today because it's one of the childhood recipes that I always grew up with and loved, and every all of my friends that I was um, at the babysitters with did it. It's it was, sticking up weird. It's sticking Sorry. up. Let, let me redo it. Let me redo it. Um, I actually ha um, have been eating mostly vegan. Um, How do you feel? Fine. I feel As like a, I was making a conscious effort to eat less meat products before, but um, my boyfriend just watched this documentary on Netflix called Game Changers, which puts it in a very easy to digest format of why you should go vegan. So go watch it. I should watch I it. I actually because... fell asleep or was asleep during a lot of it. So, but you know, these are all things that we knew before. I was a very, very strict vegan. I watched all of the Netflix documentaries and I felt and still feel pretty good. Now I cheat. I mean, if it's available to me, Lauren bought these ingredients. So, so it doesn't count. It doesn't count when I don't have to buy it myself. This I get I, that. I get that. This is how I 
rationalize cheating in my mind. Also, if there's like a cheat, like if I'm at a party or something mm-hmm. and there's like a whole cheese display, mm-hmm. I go straight to the cheese display because I'm like, well, I didn't buy it. They're gonna throw it away after. Yeah. This is I, I need to watch these documentaries again and get myself back on track right. because I need to slap myself <laughs> on the wrist. I also that. feel that way when I'm on set. When, oh, totally. When, one of the perks yeah. of being an actor is that when you go on set, they feed you all of your meals, right. and they also usually have a trailer full of snacks. Mm-hmm. So I feel like when the stuff is there and it's free, then it doesn't count. So I usually don't drink soda, but if there's, oh. you know, soda there, I'll get Ooh. soda or... Soda sounds really good. My my Postmates driver brought, brought me... I can't speak. My Postmates driver mm-hmm. brought me a free soda the other day. With That's my, so nice. It was so nice. He brought it with my pasta, so I had a really healthy dinner mm. of... Pasta, pasta and soda. Is so nice. yeah. Pasta's fantastic. That's I like love a late. good carb. Oh yeah, that's it. Potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like carbohydrates have gotten a very bad rap with all of the like Atkins diets and right. like South Beach diets kind of yeah. thing. Um, but I feel like, well, one of the huge things now is that people are against sugar. Right. Um, that's like the bad thing. I heard in a documentary, did you watch the one that said sugar is more addictive than cocaine? Probably. That's like a really common thing that's yeah. spread. And, and so I guess I'm assuming it's true. I totally believe it. Yeah. Actually, um, so I don't have a big sweet tooth, um, but I have had um, health problems in the past that um, I don't, that's very boring, uh, but my hormones changed and then my my cravings changed. It sounds like I was pregnant. I was not pregnant. <laughs> anyway, so I <laughs> um, the more sweets I ate, the more I wanted. And yeah. I, I yeah. mean, that's true for me, too. I think that's true for a lot mm-hmm. of people. Oh, we're almost boiling. I just had to check. It's because I added salt, so I messed yeah. everything up. Well, it's funny because um, I have done Whole30, which is an elimination diet, but one of the things that you cut for 30 days is Sugar, all forms of sweetener. Oh. And it's funny that after the 30 days was up and I reintroduced sugar, immediately after eating it, I wanted more. Really? Like, I was insatiable with, <gasps> like, once I ate something, I, I just, like, wanted more wow. and more and more. Um, and it's so crazy that sugar can do that to you. I wonder why my uh, cravings are a little bit different. In the, like, when I eat a bite of a cookie or a donut, I, I honestly don't. Yeah. Well, you what? just don't have a sweet tooth, which I feel like oh, there are a lot of people out there that do prefer salty over sweet, which yeah. I think that's great. Good for you. I know, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I love sweets. Yeah. All sweets. I have a huge sweet tooth. Man. The only time I experienced having a sweet tooth was when I had that um, stomach issue that I had. Mm-hmm. Two, was that like a year and a half ago? It was crazy. I, um, I gained 18 pounds in two weeks. My face completely <gasps> blew up. Wow. I know. It was, it was nuts. And I've never craved sweets. Like, I would go to Whole Foods and I would buy, like, because they have the best vegan chocolate chip, or all their vegan cookies at Whole Foods are so good. And I would buy a pack of them. And I would do this even before I had this, uh, I don't know, stomach, stomach issue, issue. Disease, disease. It was something I had to be on, like, two rounds of antibiotics for. But, and um, you had surgery, didn't you? I did. Oh my god, I had to have surgery. Yes, I forgot about that. A year after the stomach issue, I had to have five biopsies taken out of my stomach. Oh my god. I know. And then they told you not to drink that day because you've just been under you, you did? I did. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to um, do that on camera. I know. He can't. Oh, oh boiling. it's boiling. Okay, our soup is finally boiling, so now it's time to add our potatoes. We have how many potatoes chopped into, like, one-inch cubes? Yes. One to to two inch, I guess. Um, I want to say this is maybe... These are russet potatoes, peeled and chopped. Um, Oh, no. Oh, look at that. I'm such a professional cook. Just... just, just, Oh, gosh. No, gross. No. Oh, my gosh. You told me to go for it. Oh, my gosh. Probably on my... It is on my shirt. Uh Uh-oh. Just take your shirt off. We'll get so many more viewers. <laughs> Woo! It probably wouldn't work. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want more potatoes, actually. It's too late. I don't want to chop it's, I don't want to do it. We're, it's, we're too lazy. Yeah. So we just added our chopped potatoes, and now we're going to wait for these wait. to boil until they are fork tender, which is going to be about 10 minutes, probably. I just looked all over for this uh, lid, and it was right in front of me. Um, do you want, like, a stain stick or something, or do you want 
change shirts and we can like clean. Actually, do you have a tie to go marker? Um, yeah, what's the stain stick? I don't know, like stain remover. I have like a spray. I don't know why yes. I said stain stick. I don't have one of those. I can get you stain remover. Do you want yes. me to put it on you while you're wearing it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I won't show you guys exactly where the stain is, but it's a it's a pretty vulnerable area. Get the red. This is it. This is it. This is like what we've been talking about. This is our moment here. Should we get paper towels? Yeah, I don't just, know. I feel like. Well, okay. People are. Yeah, some people are commenting. They had a concert. Okay, well. So, well, so I just got. This is not a commercial, but if it were, <laughs> OxyClean is, laundry stain remover and more. It works every time. We'll see. Sarah just got some tomato sauce soup stuff. Should we get a paper shirt. towel? No, yeah. you're supposed to just like put. <laughs> you, you just like. You know, trying to make a perfect group. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get so many views here. I know. You guys are missing out. I don't even feel violated. We're friends. It's fine. No, I got some like on your skin. Oh. Okay. Well, you're supposed to like leave that on and, and then you wash it. Oh, so I have to do laundry today? Spray directly onto spot or stain until saturated. Rub into fabric and let stand for up to ten minutes, depending oh. on the severity of the stain, and then wash. You know, I feel like I would. Sp I sometimes spray it on and then I literally just leave it in my laundry basket until it's time to do laundry. I would. Yeah. I think you'll be fine. Also, it's white. I can put bleach on it if, if I need to. Yeah, I'm gonna wash my finger off though because it has the stuff on. It. Yeah, that makes. That's a good point. <laughs> can you um, give me a paper towel yeah. to get the the excess OxyClean? Is your sewing thing? Can you not eat spicy? I had to do. Okay, so. Lauren's boyfriend just asked me if, with my stomach issue that I had last year. No, not Lauren's boyfriend, Life Above the Clouds, technical director, Jer Derek Shelby Jones. Yes. You're still making yourself available at the club. <laughs> what? The potential out there for these people. Don't say bad them. words on my live stream. He said some. Oh, oh Freddie Greer. Freddie Greer says wet t shirt contest. <laughs> hey. Hi, Freddie. Um, okay. Uh,. Derek asked if I was able to eat spicy foods when I had my stomach issue. Um, so the stomach, and now that we're getting into it, I guess I might as well say, the stomach mm -hmm. issue that I had was SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Nobody wants to eat and listen to this. Do I have to? No, they're I'm not eating, this. they're just watching us cook. I feel like mm -hmm. I have to continue. Yeah. Okay. Everybody wants to know. Um, well, uh, so I basically looked completely pregnant. Like I would turn to the side and I was, my stomach was completely dis distended. Like, it was unreal. I, I've never it's felt true. anything like it. It was, you saw me, right? I did, I did, she yeah. came over and she was like, wait, you're fat. So it was like, I would, my stomach was sticking out so much and it was so sudden that I could feel the skin around my abdomen being stretched. Oh. Yeah. Did you get stretch marks? No. Oh, that's good. No, I have those on my butt though. I think I have some on my butt too. I feel like, Thank you. I feel like you. adult. How does your technical director know that you have stretch marks on your butt? Because he's also my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you guys know, he, he this is also his camera equipment that he lets me use every single week, and he sets me up with my live streams, and he taught me how to edit my videos, and That's what, so sweet. what else has he done for me? Okay. Everything, everything. Everything. But the lights are mine, guys. I bought those lights. There's lights. There's lights there's here. Lights. <laughs> there's one or two here. Um. Anyway, the the SIBO diet is a very restricted diet. In Are which you still I can, on that diet? No, because you're I all can, better. Mm-hmm. I've read. Yeah. Most people say that um, it's it's something that never goes away. It can if it does go away, it recurs. Wow. I was so strict with this diet, um, and it it still took a long time. I mean, it took me almost a year. To be completely normal, um, to where my stomach wasn't like, sticking out, and I felt like myself again. Um, That's crazy. You like salsa? I could eat spicy foods. It just depended on the type of uh, vegetable that, or the, the type of pepper that was mm. spicing the food. Jalapenos are fine, mm -hmm. I think. I don't eat those. Though. I don't eat spicy foods, so it was not. She really... just doesn't like it. I made yeah. fish yesterday. She yes, Derek made salsa yesterday. It's very spicy. It's not. It's, it's 
mellowed out overnight. Has it? Yeah. Can I step out of frame? And yeah, you can step out of frame. I'll, I'll stir the soup. You go step out All of right. frame. That's a little Salsa hard. break. Salsa break. I just stirred our soup. We're still boiling. Sarah's having a salsa break. Um, there's still well, seven it's, it's viewers. Too hot. It's, too it's too hot. hot. It's really hot. Do you want some water? Some milk? I don't oh, have milk. I have almond milk. You can eat cottage cheese. <laughs> they say that when you have something spicy, the dairy, something oh in God. dairy helps the to the lactose. Is that what it is? It will help calm away. down the heat. But you're not supposed to drink water because that's actually going to spread the heat around your mouth and make it worse. It's enzymes. The enzymes? enzymes. Wait, uh -huh. I will say that the soup of wine, th there is wine in this. She's drinking wine out of this <laughs> Let's be clear. I have a stomach issue when I have wine. I mean, I'm open on your YouTube channel. Yeah, why not? I mean, um, I haven't even sipped my coffee. Oh, really? Yet, and I feel better after the wine. So, pro tip in the future if you have something too spicy. Red wine's where it's at. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Maybe it's just numb in my mouth. <laughs> no, I'm out of wine. Do you want more wine? I you ever drink no. whiskey. Well, I, your whiskey was like almost gone. No, whiskey drinker. You're, God, I wish I knew that. I was saving Tequila. it for the man of the house. Tequila. Yeah, you can just come and drink all of our alcohol. I'll come tomorrow. Okay. See you. Why not? Mm -hmm. mm. Are we boiling? Yeah, I think so. I just stirred it. I don't remember. It was literally a minute ago. Oh yeah, we're boiling a little bit. Simmering. I'm Simmering. so excited. I know, I'm starting. Yeah. Mmm. Uh, obviously, things will not take this long when you cook them on your regular stove. But. Yeah, we're using a hot plate because we're cooking in my living room. Yeah. Um, just for you guys. Right. Just for Which I actually used my hot plate on the channel before, but in the kitchen it was just really cramped and I wanted to have more space and to have our stuff spread out. There's not enough counter space. I have to sneeze. Why don't you pull out the... I love sneezing. Why don't you pull out the leaves? Bless you. The what? The leaves of the table? We don't need it to be that big. We could just have more room. No, I think we have enough room. How do you... Oh. Yeah, you oh. can pull the leaves out of the table and extend it out. This is like a table from the 50s. It is actually a table probably from like the 60s. I don't know. Wow. This is a table, a table that yes. came with our house. It was the previous owner's furniture, and we actually bought it at the time, yeah. I see, okay. With so the... we, we bought all of the previous owner's furniture. Okay. Cool. That's why we have all of this old furniture everywhere. <laughs> Sofa Mania. <laughs> I just bought a sofa from Sofa Mania. This is not a commercial. We bought all the furniture in this house probably for the price of our sofa. Probably. For, for $2,000. My sofa was like 570 $2, plus $2, tax. Huh? Oh, My sofa or your furniture? Your furniture. Anyway, Sofa Mania, which has been recommended by an interior designer. Yes, my friend. Gera she says, guys, mine is smoky now. I guess I missed some of your instructions. Smoky? Oh, or I don't, I don't know how smoky you mean. Mine is smoky now. I guess. I but if you are cooking this at home, I'm using a hot plate, so it's not going to heat as quickly or as hot as your regular stove. You might be ahead of so us. So you might be ahead of us. Yeah. Maybe they're actually smoking. Maybe. How did he already get all the ingredients? I don't know. Because we talked about them in the beginning. Oh, because he doesn't, maybe he's cooking something else. I don't know, Gara, can you explain more? Because we're confused. Here. I always drink water. I always drink decaf coffee. That's because otherwise I can't sleep at night, but I still can't sleep at night, so I might as well just drink the damn caffeine. Yeah, sometimes ca caffeine, full caffeine coffee makes me jittery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how you said that as if nobody's ever experienced it. Yeah. <laughs> caffeine? Full well, caffeine coffee not, makes me jittery. I mean, a lot of people don't have or have a higher tolerance to caffeine because they drink so much of it throughout the day that it doesn't affect them at all. I mean. Like, Garrett. You know what my friend asked me the other day? She said, caffeine makes you pee? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. It's like a diuretic. Every, like, uh, 
That makes you cool. I mean, that also, but ca- like coffee and tea or diuretics, that something about like the way that it, it constricts your, I don't know. How are we going to settle this? What? How do we settle this? Does it make you poo or pee? We can Google it. <laughs> we can ask Google. Or we can case study this. We can case study it. We're all going to drink coffee right now, and then in 10 minutes, whoever poops first wins. <laughs> There's only one toilet in the house. There's only one toilet in the house. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah oh, no. The other one's ripped out. Uh, you guys, I'm so hungry. <laughs> we just weren't really in depth with our... Home. There's some great chips and salsa that you can eat. Do you think their potatoes are done? I don't think so. Can I have a fork? Do you have a fork? I'll get you a fork. There might be a fork somewhere in the house. There's a fork. There's only one fork in the house. <laughs> I should have cut up more potatoes. I think I did five russet potatoes. Um, thank you. We had this bowl full of potatoes. It's probably like, like four five. cups. Yeah. Can this I? is a 1.5 quart bowl. So 1.5 quarts of potatoes. It smells so good. Oh, we're close. We're close. We you know just what? tested our potato. I think I want to just leave it for five minutes. Yeah, do Can it. Set an alarm. Yeah. Okay. Where's my phone? Here, I have my phone. Okay. Hey Siri, set alarm for five minutes. I've set an alarm for four oh eight p.m. Oh, I should have said timer. She got confused. Oh, okay. Um, what is? Gara says, I don't have all the ingredients. I changed potatoes with something called ubi jalar. It's similar with potatoes. Oh, what is that? I want to know tell more. Us. Ubi, wait, ubi jalar. Also, Gara, can you tell us where you are? I don't have all the ingredients. I changed it. I know. Gara was tuning in last week, and I forgot where you said you were. I'm sorry. What but is that's so cool. so cool that you're following along with us. And um, her obviously a better cook than us because you're ahead of us in the <laughs> recipe. <laughs> but uh, if, if anybody is new to this live stream, I'm sorry about the technical difficulties, but also we are making chupi, yeah. which is a soup that Sarah's babysitter used to make, and she's loved it ever since, and so she's teaching me how to make it. Yes. We have our cannabis oil in the pot, and we cooked our... Celery and onions, and then we added water and tomato puree. Once the uh, celery and onions turned translucent, Mm -hmm. I added two cups of tomato puree, six cups of water. We also seasoned with salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and parsley. Yes. Gara is in Indonesia. Derek also also remembered that Gara was in Indonesia, (laughs) which is so cool. I think the cool thing about YouTube is that it's global like people from around the world are watching which makes me feel so special that people from around the world tune into my show ubi jalar i need to um oh cbc voter is from kelowna bc canada oh my god one of my best friends wait this is crazy one of my best friends lives in kelowna oh really maybe they know each other i was wait do you know julie haynes (laughs) wow that's amazing she works at swimco in the mall um, can you go find her? Yeah, I visited her in like 2015, right after I got in a car accident. Not oh, that that matters. You wouldn't okay. know that. I don't know. It's just my memory spiraling. Anyway, anyway, Greer says anyway sweet send potato. Me, send me some some Tim Hortons, please, because that's the best coffee. Oh. Gara also says hello, Sir Derek Jones. Look at this fun. Oh, Freddie Greer oh, says it's a sweet potato. Oh. oh, I actually have some sweet potatoes too. You? The taste will be a little bit different, obviously, because mm-hmm. sweet potatoes are sweeter. Sweet. Um, yeah. But that's cool. what's good. Yeah, they're Let good. us know how, what your soup mm-hmm. ends up tasting like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what's funny? Everybody likes sweet potatoes. I love this sweet is, potatoes. This is back to the our sweet versus salty talk. You don't like sweet potatoes. So I like sweet. I mean, I would never in my life choose a sweet potato over a regular potato. Wow. I know. And I'm, I think I'm one of the only people that I know. Probably. That feels this way about sweet potatoes. Before we started this live stream, I was eating from a giant bag, Costco sized bag of sweet potato chips. Oh yeah, you were? I was. I love sweet potatoes. They're right there. They're right there. Oh, I kind of want to go get them. I'm so hungry. I know. Sweet potato fries are one of my favorite things. Actually, all french fries. Fries are my favorite. Fries and pizza. Favorite food. That's it. 
Really? Mm-hmm. I think my favorite food is ice cream. Mm-mm. I don't care about sweets. Or french fries. I do love french fries. Do you ever dip your fries in ice cream? The whole fries and the milkshake thing, I, I tried it, but it's not, I don't think that it's that good. Okay. Do you like doing I that? To, no, because I, well, I know that people do it, but I don't do it because I don't care about sweets. sweets. But I did when I was in middle school, dip my fries in mayonnaise, and that was so good. But now there's veganaise. Yeah. I might retry this. I, I don't really like mayonnaise, but Thousand Island dressing is ketchup and mayonnaise. Is it? Yeah, pretty much. I never knew this. So, you know. Oh my god. You couldn't mix your mayonnaise with ketchup and swirl it with your french fry. And wait. I think I did that sometimes when I was 11, eating my mayo and fries. I would be like, wait, I want a little ketchup, and I'd swirl it together. Mayonnaise doesn't even taste like anything. Like, what? How can you just eat it by itself? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, everybody in my middle school was doing that. Was yeah, you were just it was like a you wanted to be like the, yeah yeah we were like followers. Everybody wanted to be the I feel cool like we're really being there. here. I know this is nice. Look at that steam coming out. I know. Mm. Yeah, it is funny like middle the middle school years because I feel like everybody has a hard time in middle school. Everyone is really awkward. Yeah, but I remember such... I plucked my eyebrows so thin. We should insert a photo. Oh, here Actually, we, go. we shouldn't. <laughs> That was the style back then when we were in middle school, which was last year. We, <laughs> the style was to overblock your eyebrows, to have yeah. really thin eyebrows. Okay, yeah. so we are boiling. I'll show you guys what this looks like. Be mm. careful. Okay, here we go, here we go. You guys wanna see what this looks like? All right. Can we zoom in? Here All right, we so we've got our potatoes. Onions, celery, our spices. Let's check the potato. Let's see if it's done. I'll throw it back into a little drop off. It is mostly done. I'm gonna just eat it. Yeah? It's mostly done. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Mm. I'm gonna die. I think it's mostly done. Why not? That's why this wine kicked in so great. What's happening with your live stream? I have a movie. Oh, um, hot. Or hey, Siri. Hot. She doesn't know my voice. Uh, hold on. CBC Voter on YouTube looks for Pot TV, great shows, and on Sunday looks for Hash Church. And then P Trick. In Germany, everyone eats fries and mayonnaise. There you go. It's a German thing. Oh my god. And then Gara says, it's okay. I'm eating it anyway. It's. Surprisingly, it tastes not too bad. Bon appetit. Thank you for the recipe. Gara, did you put cottage cheese in there? Did because put, that's the big, I big bet, ingredient. I bet he didn't. This is the main ingredient. Like, it's going to taste drastically different with the cottage cheese. And the I shrimp. Love, we haven't added our shrimp yet. I love that you got the fattiest kind. Oh, yeah. I wish that there was Skin more stuff than... stuff and, and non-fat stuff, I feel like. What, the, doesn't what is that? I don't know why people good. are getting... Like, if you're going to go the dairy route... Do the dairy route. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't drink whole milk. I don't drink milk in general, um, cow's milk. No. But I, whole milk, I know people that will drink it, and it's so thick that I, I can't, it, it's weird mm. in my mouth. You know, I feel like when I went to Whole Foods earlier and I got this coffee, I always use this stuff called Vanilla Silk Creamer. It is so mm -hmm. good. It is so, like, everybody that I've had try this that comes to visit me and stay with me, they're like, do you have any creamer? And I give them this and they they look at it like it's crazy and then they go buy the creamer why do they think that it's crazy because it's, it's not, not dairy. it's not dairy and they think it's going to be really thin because usually oh. non-dairy creamers are really thin. there's some good ones out there yeah yeah this one oh my god it's so good um anyway i feel like the little container that whole foods have put because they have all their like different ones set out in their matching containers and i feel like they have reused a container and didn't wash it out and i feel oh, like they have gross. like their like whole milk in your vegan container. Derek says Thanks. all about that cottage baby, which... Thanks, Derek. Yeah, all about that cottage baby. I'm going to make you eat some of this, Derek. You're going to come in and you're going to test it on camera. Derek will be the tester. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, did we set an alarm? No. Siri. What do you want it for? Three minutes. Hey, Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Your timer is set for three minutes. Perfect. Thanks, Siri. We also just got a Google Home. 
You did? Yeah. A Google Home? Okay. Um, yeah. I found this on the web. Shh. Don't tell me later. Yeah, Derek set us up with our Google Home, and we have a smart doorbell. I was like, what's the word that I'm trying to find? <laughs> that has a camera, and we even have, look, watch this. Hey, Google, turn on the living room lights. Oh, you guys couldn't work. see that, but the lights turned on. Hey, Google, turn off the living room lights. You can also dim it, and you can... We have a Nest thermostat, so we can control... Everything's connected, guys. So when the robots take over, they can totally shut down the house. I have a question. Because those lights look, like, busted. So how Oh, yeah, it's because Derek hit his head on one of the things, the glass. Hey Derek, how did your arm heal after you got glass in it at Ray's room? <laughs> He's fine. He's, He's fine? fine now, yeah. Maybe he'll respond in the chat. Let me know. I know. What is Gara says, no, I'm not LOL. Not adding the cottage cheese? Oh, you gotta do You're it. You're missing out. You're missing out. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh someone else is new. <laughs> We're just waiting for our potatoes to finish boiling um, so they're tender enough when you puncture them with a fork. And then we are going to add our shrimp, which is... No, he, he didn't. Did... Is he lying? He's lying. Okay. So dramatic. We actually Men do have so a friend dramatic. that got bit by a spider and had to go to the hospital because he got a staph infection. From a spider. That... Freddy Greer says, and law enforcement can record everything you say and do, so be cautious. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I don't. Did we do anything? I'm say? not doing anything unlawful, so I, I feel okay about it. But I do know people that are very concerned about all of our listening devices that can hear us and record us. Oh, is he talking about the Google Home? Yeah, he's talking about the Google Home because it's delayed on that thing, so <sighs> the comments are a little bit behind. But it's not like I'm talking about like. That is so scary. Terrorist activities. I'm yeah. not doing anything cool, guys. He not that was. that's cool. I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything bad. I feel like, you know, bombing certain locations is super cool. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Super cool. Super cool. Get those guns out. Right? Super but cool. I guess cook marijuana is illegal in a lot of places. Mm. But not in California, which is where we are right now. So right. I'm still not doing anything. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Fine. We're super legal over here. We are super legal. With our potatoes. We just turned 21. <laughs> the longest we've been silent. Oh our timer God. is up. We are boiling vigorously. <laughs> we're, we're testing our potatoes to see if they are cooked all the way through. Mm. Can you get one? Oh, I'm... All right. I mean, it feels Ooh. like a little bit hard, but I think that it's, I think that it's like basically done. Do you eat it? Do you want me to blow? Do you want me to feed you? It's gonna be really hot. So, I was completely wrong about salt and yeah. the boiling. So, what about blowing on your food? Does that make it cooler? Or am I, I think that makes that? it cooler. You're you're putting wind on it. Done? I don't know. No, it needs a few more minutes. Potatoes can take a long time to boil. Potatoes do wait a little longer. Five minutes. Besides the fact that I'm so hungry. Oh my god. I'm also one of those people that's hungry all the time. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always snacking. I'm always hungry. Derek makes fun of me a lot for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pig. All I do is eat things. Yesterday I went to his Thai food. And I got like multiple meals just because I know that I'm going to eat one and then an hour later I'm going to want another one. That's impressive. Yeah. It's a weird thing. You're just lucky to have a fast metabolism. You know, when I had my stomach issue, I was never hungry. I was fat, but not hungry. That's interesting. Uh -huh. Do you, are you sitting? Are we doing wall sit? I'm so, I'm like famished. I'm like, know, we've been standing for a while. We could sit, but then we'd be behind all the stuff. So I feel like it would look. But when we sit to eat our soup, I will clear off our table for a little bit and we'll sit down yeah. and try our soup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're just cooking. Like a snack. Can I get the chips? 
Do you want a, do you want the chips? Do okay. you want sweet potato chips or do you want regular chips? Regular. They're Himalayan salt chips. Oh, thank the Lord. Bless B. I love salt eating chips. cheesy puffs. <gasps> yep. I also have uh, beet chips. Do you want beet chips? I would choose beet chips even over sweet potato chips. I gotta put my hair back. Okay, guys. We are having a chip break because we are so famished. Well, basically, it is 4.17 in Los Angeles, and we haven't eaten lunch yet because we are going to make the soup. But then, because of our technical difficulties, we started our stream late. I mean, we were going to start at 2 p.m., which is kind of late anyway. But anyway, we're hungry. So, these are all snacks that I've gotten from Costco, which I love. Organic beet chips with sea salt. This is... Hippies, organic chickpea puffs. Oh, I've never had Nacho one. vibes. They're really, really good. I really like them. And also, Kettle Brand Crinkle Cut Himalayan Salt Chips. The Kettle Brand is the best brand because you know why? Yes. They cut their chips so much thicker than Lay's. Yeah. And I don't know where, like, Lay's. Give me the potato. I'm here for the potato, not this, like, air thing. I also have sweet potato chips. All the chips. We love chips here. Do, aren't those good? They were, they were in timeout. You don't like them? I think they're so good. The beet chips are just okay to me. You know I what? usually love beets, but I'm not into these beet chips. I do like those. Mm -hmm. But I think because I never even liked regular cheese it. Wait. Oh, yeah. Cheese puffs. Cheese puffs. Cheese puffs. Cheetos. Oh, my God. This, the crinkle. Look at this crinkle. <laughs> now it's folded in half. Everybody, please send me your folded in half chips. Why? Why do you like folded in half chips? They're crisp. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to try the rest of these chips so you can say which one's your favorite. Okay. <laughs> oh. Let me get this folded in half sweet potato. Look at that. Beautiful. What a beautiful chip. Eat those sweet potato chips over the cheese puffs. Okay, interesting. What? Oh, we just saw a commercial on television about a cheese it. What was it? Isn't it like a calzone or something? Pizza Hut is now selling these cheese it pizza things. That wasn't helpful. So we should <laughs> something like that. It looks interesting. I don't know. Is that something you would eat? <laughs> You love pizza. Uh -uh. I'm going in for the beet chip. This looks like a galaxy. Look at that. They can't see it. Show them. You have to like put your hand behind. This is what all the beauty vloggers do. They put their hand behind the product so it focuses on it. Wow, now I know. We're probably so far away from the camera still. That they probably, can't I have see. no idea what I'm doing. Me neither. This is only my second live stream. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm going in for a second beet chip. You like those? Yeah. I love beets. I love roasted beets. I love pickled beets. But something about the beet chips, I'm not into. Oh. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm. These potatoes need to finish. Yeah. I'm ready. Should we talk again? All right. You're not going to chip. No. I'm going to have the bag in a second. We're gonna try another potato because we're impatient. Siri, hey Siri. How much time? Oh, we didn't set a timer? It's not showing there. I don't know what's happening. This is boiling better be very done. vigorously. Yeah, potatoes, potatoes take a while. This looks done, it looks done to me. Oh, we're boiling so much that the pot is, yeah, this is done. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at it. Mm. Okay, so our potatoes are finally done boiling. We just tested it by puncturing it with a fork. Uh, Sarah's going to eat it and tell us how it is. All right. <laughs> it's very hot. Mm. That's so hot. Good? Good? Okay, now we're going to add our shrimp, which yes. is our final thing. I'm just going right. to drop them in with my hand. 
hand so we're not splashing everywhere. And these are actually frozen shrimp that I got from the grocery store. And this was a 16 ounce bag. Maybe I should keep the temperature high because I'm adding frozen shrimpies. And like my hand is clean, but I've also been like touching my phone. So where else? Well, <laughs> it's gonna boil. Let me wash my hands from raw shrimp hands. Oh, this looks beautiful. When Lauren comes back here, I'm gonna have her put the camera over. Oh wait, you know what? I need to, what time is it? 4.22. So, at 4.35. I feel like, right? Shrimp are like a three minute boil in the yeah, good, right? Yeah, really quick. And then we're done and we get to eat. Oh yeah, they're already whitening. This is- Yeah, when oh. shrimp are opaque, that means that they are done cooking. Look at this gumbo. And you do not want to overcook. Yeah, this is actually very similar to a gumbo. Yeah. Tomato based, got our shrimp and seafood in there. Mm -hmm. um, the cottage cheese, not so gumbo-y. But, oh, I was gonna show. I was yeah. gonna show what it looks like. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh, he's so cute. There's a dog back there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Zooming in. Woo! Yes. That looks so good. Look at how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Woo! I hope nobody gets motion sick with the camera moving around. Mm. I am ready to eat. You look so nice. The lighting is so good. The gray wall. Really? The gray? You did a great job. This is where you do your self tapes now? Um, yeah. Yeah? Guys, we just painted in here and redid the floors. Um, they I did a beautiful job on the floors. Thank you. Yeah. The walls are gray. It. They used to be like a gross cream color. But, uh. What color were they? Cream colored, like the same color as the hallway. But this is roadside gray from Bear. If you're in, that's what it's called. Uh, My new landlords won't let me paint the walls white. Really? But I actually love how it turned out. I love the color. You're gray? Mm hmm. These look so mm. good. They look almost done even. I know. It's 424. I feel like when it says 425. Then one more minute, and then our soup is done! Our soup is done. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Um, you want to eat this? Do you want to eat this? You can eat it. Are you sure? Okay, I'll eat it. I'll eat the leftover potato celery in this bowl. Yes. Mmm. Ooh, yum. Oh my god. So you're not hating it? You're not hating it? This is just potatoes and celery. See, onions. the potatoes and celery and onions are... I don't really think good. I'm going to hate this recipe. I honestly don't. It just sounds weird. Like, if somebody was like, let me put cottage cheese in your soup, you'd probably want to slap them. Mm -hmm. But, but you also like... put cream in soups. Like, heavy yeah. cream. Yeah. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, what does Gara say? I'm finished with my breakfast. I have to go. See you on the next live stream. Thank you so much. Bye, Gara. Gara, thank you so much for tuning in and cooking and eating along with us. And we'll see you next week. For everyone else who's still here, hello. <laughs> You're stuck with us. Yeah, we we're are. Almost done. We're making oh. chupa, chupi, chupi, chupi. Don't know how to spell it. Um, which is basically a soup, a tomato-based soup. We have tomato puree and water, and it also has celery, onions, uh, potatoes. Mm, it's beautiful. And then yeah, we have. That's beautiful. Do you want to spoon us into some bowls and I'll and I'll zoom in on it for I the will. the people watching at home? I will. I'm also gonna get a. Do you have a? Yep, you got spoons. All yeah. Right. I'm gonna take this off. Okay. Maybe clear off the table a little bit so I can show. Should I? All right. Let me stick this over here. Here we go. Sorry for the wonderful camera work. I'm yeah. so good at this. I'm gonna use the bowl that I didn't splash okay. the stuff on. Okay. I don't think I'm a good spooner inner. I'm just zooming in on your booze, basically. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, this looks beautiful. I can't. Show my that soup. Ooh. Okay. So here we have this. And then what I'm gonna do. That looks gourmet. Wow. 
probably because mostly because your bowl. Well, you spilled all over it. I know. I did a mess up. That looks disgusting. Does it? Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> it's gonna taste good. I promise. It's also gonna need a little more salt. Derek, we're ready for you to taste test. <laughs> He's like avoiding oh, us. No. He's like, no, I don't want to do it. It's not my time to go. Okay. Mm. Oh, zooming out. Going back yeah. into the here. Hold on, guys. Okay, so. Now that we have our soups, let's just clean up some of this stuff. Okay. And then we can sit and enjoy. Should I just put it on warm? Just turn it off. I think it's fine. I don't think we're gonna. No. It'll probably stay hot for a long time because it's really hot. I'm gonna, it's definitely gonna need more salt. Okay. Yeah, I just throw it all in the sink. So our soup is finally done, and I am just clearing the table because we are gonna sit and enjoy it. The spice, I feel like the spice amount looks like a good amount. Okay. Um, let's see. I should probably throw this out. Sorry, guys. I know we're in front of the camera. Oops, I know that's so Best awesome. live stream ever. Yeah, we're super profesh. Okay, um, I think we should keep the cottage cheese on the table because I usually want a whole bunch extra. Okay. And move this bit over to the side. This is trash. This needs to be here. Okay, yeah. Cheers for us. Cheers. And then I'm gonna have to move the camera a little bit. All of our chips over here. All right. Oh. It's really, really hot Is here. Ah, oh, perfect. Cool. Okay. Okay. Let me let me move this down a little bit. Here comes the dog. Oh, that was the dog. Here's your food ready dog sound. I'm so nervous for you to hate this on live stream. <laughs> what if we move? You look so cute. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Start up. Well, it smells great. I can smell the shrimp. I can smell the tomato-y goodness. We are stirring in our cottage cheese so it is nice and dispersed and looks really chunky. All right, well, there's nothing else to do but try it. Do it. I'm putting more cottage cheese. Can I just put this tomato-y spoon in the cottage cheese? Do you care? Or should I get a new spoon? I kind of carry on. You kind of carry on. I carry on. Because <laughs> I'm going to eat the cottage cheese later. Okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. It's just the top drawer over there. It's probably still open. Um, it's not. Oh, so that's the top drawer on the right. Go turn right. There you go. Top drawer on the right. Oh, got it. I'm going to wait for you to come back so we can try it together. Okay. Didn't I say I was like super crazy about cottage cheese? Hmm. I used to eat cottage cheese with canned peaches. That was like an after school snack uh, that my mom would make for us. Splatter. Okay. Um, my friend just ate Lay's potato chips and cottage cheese the other day. Like dipped it into the cottage cheese? Mm -hmm. That's kind of weird. Okay, so here we go. It's hot. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mm. So I just ate a shrimp basically in a little soup, but it's so good. It's really good. I mean, it is kind of gumbo-y. It mm -hmm. tastes kind of like gumbo. Like shrimp, tomato soup, the cottage cheese just is like a little creamy. I'm not mad at it. 
the mm-hmm. chunkiness of the cottage cheese is a little bit weird. I feel like you totally could just add like heavy cream to it. Really? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I wonder if the reason that it was cottage cheese instead of cream in the arec- in the original recipe that I have is because that's what she had on hand. Could yeah. be. Yeah. Well, I'm obsessed with it. This is my favorite recipe. <laughs> do you? How often do you make the soup? Um, as often as I can have somebody buy the cottage cheese for me. Why not? Oh, because you went by yourself, right? Oh my God, you're so funny. Yeah. She did. Yeah, I'm not mad at the cottage cheese. Do you want to come Derek, taste? do you want some? You don't have to put cottage cheese in it if you don't want to. My fiance likes it without the cottage cheese. I love that it's 90 degrees outside and we're sitting here eating soup. No. I sort of do rebel against LA temperatures when it comes to like, you know, the end of October and we're sitting here sweating. Mm-hmm. Well, why not have soup? Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm. Are you so happy right now that you get your cottage cheese soup? Mm-hmm. It's real good. And the shrimp is good. I actually love shrimp, but I don't know. It's just like I don't buy seafood at the store a lot just because. Mm-hmm. But it's so good. It's so good. And we had talked about this a little bit earlier, but Sarah is mostly vegan and and Derek and I have been trying to eat more vegan recently because of a lot of reasons besides the fact that we love animals, but it's also better for your health and better for the environment. The dog, I have, we it's, have a dog. I'm just looking at it. He's so cute. He loves food. He loves all, all foods. He loves trash. He, he'll eat anything. Yeah. Um, when I do cheat, because I am mostly vegan, when I do cheat, I'll do, uh, pescatarian. Um, hey buddy. only because land, an- eating land animals grosses me out. I don't, um, I would never eat them again. It just, it doesn't appeal to me, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Seafood doesn't gross me out. It's funny that seafood doesn't gross you out, but but alien animals will. And, I know. Um, I mean, I eat I eat animals, uh, but when Derek and I sailed, we Derek and I sailed down the coast of Mexico a few years ago, and we fished, and there was this fish that we caught, and I had to kill it, and it was pretty traumatizing. That's also on YouTube. You guys can find it. I think it's on my channel. <laughs> Um, but like pulling the fish in and it's flapping and you're supposed to just cut the back of its spinal cord and it'll die instantly. But I had never done that before. So I didn't know where that was. And so I'm just like trying to cut in this fish. I'm hanging off the side of the boat. It's flapping everywhere and I keep missing the spinal cord. So it's bleeding, but still flapping. And we had also tried, uh, apparently if you pour alcohol on its gills, it'll suffocate and die also. But we had tried that and that didn't work. So this fat fish was flapping around and it smelled like alcohol and it smelled like fish and it smelled like blood. And it was just like, I don't know if I want to eat this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was not fun. No, that was Brazos, by the way. We had a special appearance by my dog Brazos. Derek's dog. It's technically Derek's dog. Is it? Uh Uh-huh. Oh. He got Brazos before we started dating. How long have you guys been dating? Almost five years. Oh I'm only God. dating him because of Brazos. Can we be clear? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's also one of the things that, like, when you, like, first start dating someone and you use that as an excuse, like, oh, when do I get to come meet your dog? Uh-huh. You know? Uh-huh. I have a friend who won't date people because they have dogs. Because they don't like dogs? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> She's very funny. I love her. Mm-hmm. But, Yeah. She doesn't want anything to do with a dog. Oh my gosh. Does she like cats? I don't think so. I feel like the dog thing is kind of like kids. Like, like not liking kids? Like, yeah. Okay. Or like dating a guy that has kids. Like, I don't think I would date a guy that had kids. A dog is totally different. Dating a guy with a dog is totally different than dating it a guy is. with a kid. It is. <laughs> but I feel like as far as, like, cleanliness goes, like, kids and dogs are kind of on the same level. I mean, having a dog is basically like a giant toddler. Yes. Like, forever. 
He's a forever yes. toddler. Mm-hmm. But then your but toddler dies. But we can dies. leave him home alone. Right. Mm-hmm. And then your toddler dies. And then your toddler dies. I know. He's middle-aged. He is. He's five. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy that we're eating right now. I was so hungry. So hungry? I'm also, like, you don't want to be around me when I'm hungry. I'm I get usually, hangry. I'm usually very... Mm-mm. I don't think people understand how hungry I get. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't... They don't get like that. Yeah. They don't get, like, crazy to eat. Yeah, I get crazy. To Derek eat. can just not eat all day long. I can never miss a meal. I mm-hmm. would be so upset. Oh my god, no, no. When I used to do ballet, I wished I could have been anorexic. That's a bad thing to make a joke about. I'm not even making a joke. I like tried really hard because they, they encouraged us. They were like, "You need That's to lose so weight." That's so crazy. Yeah, and they would put on my report card like I would get a C in ballet. And so, first of all, why are we getting letter grades in ballet? You were, I would get, yeah. Why? I would get a C in ballet. And then they will put next to the C that I needed to tone up. And so That's I would terrible. go home. I know. And I, w- I wanted to not eat so bad I could never do it. Wow. I could never do it. You just didn't want it badly enough. Mm-mm. That's why you're not a famous ballerina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Missy Copeland beat me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you're an actress now. Guys, this is my friend Sarah. She's one of my acting friends. <laughs> There's only five people watching. It's probably the same people as been watching the whole time, which is awesome. Thanks for staying tuned in. Thank you. But if you're new, that's who she is. She showed me how to make choopy. Choopy? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Nobody knew what that was. Nobody wrote in the comments how we spell it. We don't know what it is. Mm. C-H-U-P-I. I could look it up on my phone, but I still don't think that my friend who sent me the recipe knew how to spell it because it, I don't think it's a, I, I don't think it's a thing. Oh. You know? It's not like chicken parmesan. Right. You know? Or like gumbo, mm-hmm. which is very similar to. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's not to enjoy about potatoes and celery and onions? I feel like you could add, like, more vegetables if you wanted to, or you could add, omit some, or Mm -hmm. add, like, sausage if you wanted to. When I used to eat chicken, I would make this recipe with chicken Mm -hmm. instead of shrimp, Mm -hmm. because they actually thought that it was less expensive, Um, but a bag of shrimp is actually not expensive. I don't know, a bag of shrimp was like 10 bucks. Was it? Yeah. Remember I told you to go to Trader Joe's? I know, but Trader Joe's is not easy to get to. Oh. I mean, there's a Trader Joe's nearby, but it's like in the middle of Hollywood and it's just like, Mm. Mm -mm. it's not fun or anything. Mm -mm. Because I live in Hollywood, guys. How Los Angeles is me. (laughs) I'm going to live really close to a Trader Joe's when I move. That's so good. I love Trader Joe's. And I'll be so close to those $3 bags of shrimp. I know. They're also trying to phase out their single-use plastic packaging. Hmm. I appreciate that. Yeah, which is something that I try to be mindful of, my amount of waste. Me too. Me too. I need another bowl. I was thinking about it. I think I put the spoon over there. All right, I'm going to get it. It was good. Yeah. Brandy, do you want some? Do you want to try some choopy? Where did it, where? I think I just put it on the... Counter somewhere? Here's the thing, I'm just gonna rinse it. Oh, okay. My bad. Mmm. Yeah, I want a little bit more too. I was so hungry. I guess it's like dinner time now. It's 4 40 in L- L- LA. Yeah. So it's I'll go home and eat the Thai food that I bought multiple meals of. <gasps> Come here, bowl. I just want like one scoop. That much? Um, yeah, with like a little bit of broth. Okay. Thank you. Mmm. That's a good portion size. This is a good portion size. Yeah. I guess I'll put some cottage cheese on it. What? Oh, you're right. At 5.30, the vet is coming to take some blood tests of our dog because he's on thyroid medication. Because it turns out that he had hypothyroidism and that's why he was lethargic. Oh. I feel like it were hot on the bottom. I should have gotten this little mess. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so, oh my gosh. I wish I could rotate the camera so they could see him. He's so he patiently waiting. I know, he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. 
Hey, you guys want to oh, see look the at dog? You. Hi, buddy. <laughs> this is Brazis. Those oh. are our chips on the floor that we were eating before. <laughs> hey, bud. Okay, well, he came over to talk to me. Hi, sweetheart. All right, now he's just all over there. Whew. I'm warm from the soup. Me too. I'm going to be so hot on my drive home. Oh, I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to eat. I'm excited for you. I'm so excited. The main reason I can't wait to move is because my house is so far in the hills. You can relate. It takes yeah. forever to get to. Yeah. Yeah. And your landlord is crazy. Right. But maybe we shouldn't. You're right. <laughs> Do you think he's watching right now? I don't know. Hey, 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 those chips aren't for you. Hey. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah. You were right. I think it stayed hot. My God, I'm in like a food and wine coma. I know. Sarah's been drinking wine this whole time. Yeah, I snuck wine in this Yeti cup. <gasps> we have more. We opened that whole bottle just for you. I don't you need can it. take it home. No. We're not going to drink it. You're not, what? So you had to take it. No. You had to take it home. No, seriously, we're not going to drink it. <laughs> yeah, we can put it in my car. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Are you sleeping? Yeah, I think I might go home and, like, cuddle with my cats. Sarah is obsessed with cats. Obsessed. She loves all things cats. She's a crazy cat lady. I even have a cat shirt, and everyone loves it. Have you seen it? No, what is it? Oh, I thought he was like, I've seen the shirt. Um, it just has, it's a oh. white shirt. Here's the shirt, drink the wine. What? Okay, <laughs> now? He was saying to take it. Okay. Um, what were we talking about? Your cat shirt. My cat shirt is so cute, I got it from H&M. I feel like I advertised a lot today on your YouTube channel. Yeah, right. If any of these companies want to sponsor these videos, that'd be awesome. We'll cook you choopy. <laughs> we'll cook you choopy. I actually have been trying to not buy any new clothes, especially from fast fashion retailers like H&M, which yeah. I love. I used to love and shop there all the time. Forever 21, which is going bankrupt. Have you seen is that? it? Forever 21 filed for bankruptcy. Wow. But I'm trying to buy stuff from Goodwill, like buy That's, used clothes. Mm -hmm. and Obviously, I will buy new underwear if I need underwear <laughs> and things like that. But I feel like I'm doing my part and what I can to help the environment. That's very right. Mental. I got these at Goodwill. Really? These little like plate. Wow. What are these called? Um, placemats? Yeah. Hot plates? Chargers. Not a charge. Like, like a pot holder. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, this thing. Yeah. You can put a hot plate on it, a hot yeah. pot. We yeah. all them in bowls. I'm so hot now from the soup. I know. We can turn on the air, air conditioning. Hey, Google, turn down the air conditioning one degree. Did I give her the right commands? Sure. Tone it down hollow. See? She's so, so fancy. She's so smart. I know. Oh my Google God. Ooh, Baconator9000 says hi. Hi, Baconator. I really love your username. Baconator. Bacon is, do you miss bacon? No. Did you not like bacon? Um, no. Because Sarah's mostly vegan is why I'm saying this. Yeah. No, I never actually was like a big super duper bacon fan or chicken fan or mm. beef No one's fan. a chicken fan. No one's a chicken. Chicken's like, why are you eating a dead bird? It's so weird. As I sit here and eat dead sea bugs. I know. But you never liked like a good steak? Um... You know, I did like steak. As far as like burgers went, I like burgers, but I always would like the fries that came with it mm. more. I would always choose a hot dog over a hamburger. Same, same. I love vegan, hot dogs. Vegan hot dogs have a little bit of work to do. Um, they still taste like soy sauce. Mm. It's weird that they do that. Um, well, I can't eat. I'm allergic to soybeans, you guys. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to eat those. I feel so bad for you. Thank you. Because that's an everything. I like Beyond Meat though. Oh my god. It's so good. It's really good. Yeah. Beyond Meat burgers taste exactly like burgers. I think they taste better. 
Well, yes, because they're more flavorful than just ground beef. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. they, they've, like, done a really good job with the texture. and Yeah. Also, Impossible. Do you like Impossible or Beyond Burgers? Impossible has soy in it, so I can't eat it. No. Have you ever tried it and, like, not known the soy? I have okay. it. I think that um, they're different. Like, I'll always eat them both. Like, um... I think, um... I might like Impossible more. Really? I think I do. That's really upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I'm allergic to soy. I found out because I did Whole30 and soy was one of the things that you eliminate. And when I reintroduced it, wow. when I eat soy, it makes my throat itchy. And then if I eat more of it, it makes me turn red. Oh my God. And then it also like makes me break out like later on. Oh, that's awful. Mm-hmm. So I can't. And if I eat enough of it, then I get sick like to my stomach. Aww. Yeah, it's really upsetting. Hi, Tommy. The dog wants the soup so bad. He does. He's pacing around looking. I He's know. looking at us with those puppy eyes. Yeah. He's a cute dog. Man. How many allergies? Do you have a lot of allergies? I don't know. I probably have more allergies than just the soy, and I just don't know. Because be. obviously growing up, I ate soy all the time. Right. And did it, it happen? Hmm. affect you, or do you think it was an allergy that you developed like when you got into your teens? I don't know. I mean, you... You just get used to, like, feeling bad all the time. Mm. And, like, soy does make me break out. And I have had problems with my skin ever since I was, like, eight. Right. Okay. So it, it could be something that I was always allergic to. Mm-hmm. Um, and just never knew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Which sucks. Man. Because soy is in everything. Even, obviously, it's in soy sauce, tofu, but then all processed foods, like, I can't find a loaf of bread that doesn't have soy in it or that wasn't manufactured in a factory that also processes soy. Can you not have food that's manufactured in the same factory? I will. I mean, okay. I can eat soy. I don't think I'm going to die. Um, okay. I've looked it up on the internet, and apparently soy allergies usually aren't as severe like a shrimp allergy or nut allergy right. where you, you will You're, die. Right, right. Um, but it's not great. Like, I, I try to avoid it whenever possible. Totally. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have... Um, it's interesting. Like, I have that. Are you not stomach. allergic to potatoes? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sarah used to think that she was allergic to potatoes. And potatoes are my favorite food. So when I thought, like, or, like, of course, you can convince yourself of anything that you find on the internet. And I truly found this article, and I was like, it's, that's it. I'm allergic to my favorite food. And, yeah, man, that was devastating. I'm not. Here I eat a potato. <laughs> Sweetheart. Mm. You just want some soup. You just want some soup. You're, the vet's coming over, and you're not going to like that. <laughs> Guys, if you live in the Hollywood area and you're looking for a good vet, we use Dr. April. She's the Hollywood mobile vet, and she comes to your house. Which really? we thought would make Brazos feel more comfortable, but he knows. When she comes to the house, he freaks out. And he does knows not, who she is? Oh, yeah. He does not like her. Oh, my... He's not Aww, stupid. He's a smart baby, dog. Poor little baby boy. I uh, had to take my cats in for a follow-up yesterday. Her cat had to get mouth surgery. Nine teeth removed. Oh, my gosh. Mm. So does she not have teeth? No. She doesn't have any teeth? She has, like, minimal teeth. Oh, my gosh. How funny. It's my poor baby. She has her four, like, canine teeth. Canine teeth. Is that what you call them? Yeah. I mean, we have canine. These are okay, canine. yeah. Um, so do you have to feed her soft food now? She, I mean, I already have fed her wet food, like, mm. twice a day, but I've still seen her eating the dry food. I think she swallows it whole. And I think she did that before, because her teeth were so messed up that she couldn't chew anyway. Alright. I mean, yeah, she seems much happier. The vet assured me, so I, I took my cat into the vet because she's always been so skittish. And I thought she just needed anxiety medication. And my vet was like, no, her teeth are rotting. And that's why she doesn't like anything or anyone. Oh, my gosh. So, no, she, I mean, it was like. Because her teeth are rotting? Like, can you, like, brush? Do you brush cat's teeth? Because I brush Brazos' teeth. Um, I think it's a little more difficult to brush a cat's teeth. They're, like, not as agreeable. Do you give them cat chews? There are. Apparently, there's something that you can put in their water. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I might get that today on Amazon Prime. But it's weird. I mean, the day after Luna's surgery, she was like, 
coming it's under so the, different. She was like coming under the bed covers to cuddle. I mean, it was like a different cat, like a completely different cat. I'm sorry, I'm turning our air conditioning down some more because I'm. So I am, I'm, parched. Once again, parched? it is 90 degrees Sweating. outside, and we are eating soup. I don't know why. I don't know. It was delicious soup, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm glad you're happy about it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I feel like this could be served at like a nice restaurant. Mm. No? I mean, maybe. I mean, there's nothing like fancy about the ingredients. No. Except like the shrimp, maybe. But I guess you like eat gumbo at a restaurant. It's kind of like gumbo. Hi, puppy. Please, can I have some? How come he just did this like... Please. I know. He, He just like nudged me with his face. Yeah, that's him asking for food. He's a smart dog. Oh, he's so, I want to snuggle him so bad. Yeah. Oh my god. I snuggle him all the time, even though he hates it. Mm. Remember earlier when I tried to ride him like a horse and he was like, He did not like that. Mm -mm. Hey, Baba. You want to be a horse? You're as big as a horse. (laughs) Can you speak? Give me some! He's like, I did it! <laughs> Speak. He can do lots of tricks. Speak. It's so cute! It's so cute! He's a cute dog. Yeah. Mmm. I'm dead empty in my mouth and my teeth. How many eat all this? Eat it. Mm-hmm. Take some home. There's so much soup. Whew. What else are you doing today? Working on my script and studying my flight stuff. Yes, Sarah takes f- flying lessons. Flying lessons? I do. She's gonna be get her pilot's license. Yeah, I'm and to have she my is. She also writes scripts because she's also an actor. Mm-hmm. Do you call yourself an actor or an actress? I say actor. What do you say? I say actress. It's funny because I asked my friend Anisha who was on last week, and she says actor too. And really? I don't know why I've always said actress. Hmm. You know, the only reason I say actor is because when I, even before I became an actor or ever thought that I would, um, there was this, when I was 12, this girl told me that her sister was with this agency who, uh, this, the sister felt like the term actor was more inclusive. That's what people say. Yeah. So then I just always said actor. Yeah. I don't know. Actress sounds silly to me. I don't judge it when I hear it, but I feel like actor just sounds like the word it's supposed to be. And then... Hush. Oh, he's so cute. I'm going to cry. He's begging. Brazos is begging. I also just realized that we were lit for standing up, and now that we're sitting, we're not lit very well. Also, Baconator9000 laughing out loud because we're so funny over here. We are. We got these jokes as we (laughs) eat. Oh, well, yeah. I'm so full. I'm going to look pregnant. Just put it, I'll give you a Tupperware to take it to go. Yeah? You can put it in there, yeah. I don't think Derek's going to eat any of this soup. No? Probably not. Derek, are you going to eat any of this soup? It's going to take him like 20 seconds to respond because of the delay on the the live stream. Riley, I'm going to give you so many TREA TSs. (laughs) <laughs> After the vet leaves, because she, she, he's autistic, so he doesn't like it. Like as a person, or he associates her with shots? He associates her with shots. He knows that she's, just, like, scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bacon made a cool emoji with glasses. <laughs> this is me trying to be a cool person. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm doing finger guns. I'm not cool. I've never mm. been cool. Mm-mm. Were you like the cool kid in high school? Were you a theater geek? What were you like in high school? I went to performing arts high school. And oh, you did? For dance? Yeah, I was, when I was like, actually, I feel like the reason that people were cool in my high school, everybody was cool. There was nobody that was, um. Because everyone was a theater nerd? Everybody, um, I think being an artist, everybody 
like actively chose to accept everyone. Yeah. And then that's what made it cool was just accepting everybody. Unless they were mean, like nobody wanted nobody was cool with somebody being mean. It was cooler to be nice. Oh wow. I know. That's cool. Yeah. So that was everybody every I think everybody was like cool in their own in their own way. In their own way. In their own right. That's nice. Yeah. I mean I I did not go to a performing arts high school. I went to a small private school. And people that I went to middle school and high school with, I know some people that did not have a very easy time. Yeah. But I feel like I enjoyed myself, even though I was super awkward and maybe I'm just suppressing all these memories. But <laughs> I had some really close friends that I'm still close to to this day. And we were always weird together, and it was okay. That was the thing, and is if you're weird together. Yeah, it, it's, like I had yeah. my people. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're still weird together yeah. to this day. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is that how you sneeze it? Stop, that's not real. That's not real. That's not, real. That's not really how I sneeze it. Um, and so I think that made my middle school and high school experience so much easier. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Middle school, I don't think I had the best experience, because I think that girls were so focused on being mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, and your looks um, and your, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think that all of that, all of those bad experiences stem from more people having confidence issues. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they, we all know this, that people yeah. are bullies because they're insecure, yeah. and that's why they feel the need to bully other people. Yeah. I think that for me, I was just so lucky to go to this art school where everybody was, I think that being involved in the arts just lifts you up. So That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, so I think that everybody felt, uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, everybody I'm felt worthy. Yeah. Worthy? Everybody felt worthy enough to accept the other students. That's so good. And it was nice. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I also feel like being in, in the arts, no matter whether it's dance or I did musical theater and singing and it's just like a way that you can express yourself, which if you aren't into the arts, you, you don't have that release, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that's also like why we're actors, because somewhere in our like middle school formative years, we had bad experiences and this is how we validate ourselves and like express <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Like they say, all actors are crazy and it's true. I feel like you want to be a little yeah. bit crazy. A lot of, most actors are very crazy. Yeah. I mean, I think the reason this town is so tough is because most actors have have an insane amount of narcissism. I think that you have to have a, a little bit of narcissism to do what we do and to continue okay. doing it and to continue like putting yourself out there yeah. um, and get rejected constantly. Like You have to think that you're worthy or you're talented yeah. or that you deserve the attention of people watching you on TV yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel that way? No, I can totally see why you why why you made that point. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't feel like I'm narcissistic. I think that. No, you're not. You're in, not. In on the other side of the coin, I feel like I'm extremely self conscious. And that's yeah. And I think that that probably comes like the more people act. I think depending on how your career goes, the more self conscious you may become. And I think. Yeah. That, yeah, but I think for me it ebbs and flows. Like I'm usually getting to you know I'll, I'll get really far. I'll almost get this amazing part. And then I'll find out that I didn't get it. And every time, it's, it's, it get, I think it gets harder every time. Well, it's really hard as an actor to, like, our jobs, there's so much of our job that is completely out of our hands that you can literally do the best job. You can be the best actor that acted that role. But if you looked differently than what they wanted, then you're not going to get it. It doesn't mean that you're not a good actor. It just means that you have the wrong color hair or you're too short or whatever the reason is. Yeah. And it's really hard not to take that personally. Yeah. It's frustrating. It's like, why did the universe give me the part that when I auditioned, I was the best at it? Yeah. Because you had brown hair instead of blonde or whatever. Yeah. You, yeah. You had blue eyes instead of brown. Yeah. The dumbest things. You had 50,000 followers instead of a million thousand followers. A million, a million thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. But I've even heard stories, like one of my old acting teachers, his wife was a producer and she was sitting in on a casting session where they were holding auditions and this guy came in and just nailed the part. He was such a great actor and he was exactly 
acted it the way that they wanted it to be, but he had a mustache. And they didn't want a guy with facial hair. And they didn't want to just ask him to shave off his mustache because they like weren't sure maybe it, he wouldn't look right. So they went with another person. Like it can be something like that where literally you can shave off your mustache. We can't, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I do have a little hair. That <laughs> <laughs> but it's, that's like what we go through every day. Yeah. This is a fun yeah. actor studio. Well, yeah. Isn't that that show? Fun act. What? Fun actor studio. The actor studio where the yeah. he like does the interviews with the actors. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, guys, we made our soup. We're in food comas. We ate our soup. What? Thank you. I don't know if you heard that, but my boyfriend said that I could go shave off my mustache <laughs> if I wanted to. Anyway. <laughs> thank you, guys. We still have seven viewers watching. Hi. Thank you, guys, for watching us make our choopy. And um, thank you, guys, for hanging out with us. And I will write up this recipe and post it on my website and put a link to it in the description. And I will also shorten this video into a, just the instructions and post that on my channel later. So if you guys want to make this soup later, you can just watch that. And um, thank you to my friend Sarah for coming and hanging out and showing me how to make her favorite soup recipe, even though it's 90 degrees outside. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye. Um, now we have this really awkward moment when I turn off the live stream, but you guys can still see us.